Welcome to Happy JS Advanced Video Tutorial. This is the advanced tutorial. Therefore, you should have a basic understanding of how to build with Happy JS. If you do not have a basic knowledge, I recommend you to watch uh, our basic video tu video tutorial first, and then you come back to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am using the final output of basic video tutorial and continue uh, that uh, this is the outline environment setup and I'm doing the code refactoring of the final code of last video tutorial and node man configurations authorization authentication and secure SAGA document generation joy validations unit test environment setup uh, since this is an node.js framework first need to have node.js installed in your computer uh, need to have uh, IDE the support JavaScript just like uh, VS Code or Visual Studio Code or Atom. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Follow this video tutorial. Uh, you can use the final output code of basic video tutorial if you have or oh, you can use uh, this uh, new github repository for happy js advanced video tutorial uh, if you can uh, clone it or download if you are getting downloaded get the initial branch uh, code and uh, we can uh, follow the tutorial or you can just uh, clone it and check out to the initial initial branch i have already cloned uh, this uh, repository and you can find the URL for the repository in video description and I have opened it in Visual Studio code and check out to the branch initial we'll check the branch I have check out the initial branch and first we have to install the dependencies npm install or npm i command can be used then all the dependencies defining the package json will be installed After uh, dependencies installed, we can run this API using npm start com. API is uh, successfully started. I will check the current API using Postman. Uh, I, I already have introduced the Postman tool in my basic video tutorial. First, start the request from here. We have to select uh, request type. 
first i will get request local host to port 8000 we have a endpoint called hello it will just show the hello world message and we have crud operations for use api this endpoint for getting all the users currently we don't do not have any users and we'll do a post request body and type pro it is json here is our properties uh, name email password to create user it is successfully created and we will check whether users exist this is the uh, endpoint that we are getting all the users we are getting an array of all this is currently we have one and we can get a user by id and that user will be returned and we have endpoint we put uh, to update users and we have delete endpoint to delete and specific user uh, that's it that is the current api we have in code refactoring i'm first uh, going to do uh, updating have you show this if you uh, type npm happy in google with this link we can see that uh, they have uh, deprecated uh, current module and they have moved it to at happy happy therefore uh, currently it has uh, like this since they have moved into a separate module remove this and stop the API I'm installing new module npm install or i at b slash head minus s for writing to the packages Uh, since the package structure has changed we have to uh, change all import statements uh, we use happy currently we are uh, using it in one place go here uh, this is the we can uh, find it everywhere control shift uh, from happy we have only one place 
we have to change it as at this. If you run the API again, should run correctly. It's running properly. Uh, I will change. Uh, Hello, endpoint two. Uh, just calling the root path, it will give the message. I will change this also. Uh, yes, advance. Yeah, sorry. We run and check. If you uh, just click control and click, then it will go uh, open in browser and it will show the message PJS advanced API survey. Uh, now I am going to create a base controller. I just copy this controller and paste here. Now we will rename it as base controller. We also need to rename it as base controller and I'm going to this public thing to protect it. implementation of get route list method I will make it as abstract method if uh, this is abstract we have to make the class abstract export abstract class I will add some fields here module entity singular entity plural hash property uh, since these are string value they need to be initialized since uh, they cannot be undefined inside the constructor method I will initialize uh, this uh, uh, command value entity entity entities and hash property I, I will explain why we are using hash uh, what we call hash property hash property is empty string and I will add the parameter for the constructor uh, constructor as model and it will be assigned to the uh, model variable Uh, 
here uh, previously we had to uh, use uh, we have get copied this from user controller there we have uh, and it is by uh, it is bounded to uh, user and we have to change it uh, in all the places we have use this user model check for More places we are going to replace it from and uh, endpoints hard coded to user. We are going to change it uh, like this yeah. around trust. Entity singular. We just copy and paste entity singular. When we are using a variable here, we have to use back ticks instead of single quotations. We need this here this entity single just copy identity Uh, just check which need to be refactored and here I'm using a variable called user this need uh, this should be changed to entity entity and this should be entity ID. and here users this should be entities this entity uh, entity We'll check again in messages uh, we have a message called user not found this should be entity not found uh, we can uh, use the variable here also uh, instead of entity not found uh, we can say correct uh, which entity is not found using entity singular or simply say entity not found yes
Let me check whether still we have yeah, with user text here. We have import statement. We can remove this. We are not using it anymore. Yes, we have removed all those things. Then we will go to the user controller. I'm going to extend. It extends from base control. Can see some errors. We'll fix them uh, in constructor. We have to call the super constructor, the constructor of super class. Here we need to give the model, going to give user model. Still, we have some issues here. Uh, now, in base controller. We have these variables, therefore we need to remove them here. And we have all these things, all this Init base routes method is defined in Let me check why it is getting error. Oops. We do not want to call it here since uh, it is called inside the uh, in base controller constructor method. Uh, now can remove this uh, unused import, and we have to. Uh, something in constructor those uh, need to set these variables for in user controller entity single is user and plural is users we are going to uh, we are going to encrypt the password field later therefore we have to set the hash property what should be hashed is password field again we'll check whether it is running properly let restart API is uh, running properly. Just check uh, calling your same point. Yes, it is running. Now I'm going to add a config file since uh, we have hard coded uh, this uh, database connection details in the services. We need to have a separate file that we can configure everything in, in a single file. Therefore, I'm going to add inside source directory create a file called config ts
just uh, get copied the code and explain what is uh, that code. I have separated into constant dev QA staging production like this uh, separate that properties in environments into variables. App port that is currently we have same properties in each environment properties, but we can have different ones uh, like this uh, database property as separated into host port name user password and uh, these constants here uh, into one constant uh, to dev keyway staging it's an array then uh, one element of the array is exposed currently we have exposed the environment uh, in array zero index value it means dev environment is enable if you want to enable production environment we have to use production means uh, th index three if you change it to three production will be enabled if you change it to one qa environment is enabled like this we can uh, simply uh, change the environment uh, properties and we have to use it in cell five. Instead of uh, this string, we also uh, since I am using uh, variables here, we need to have backticks instead of uh, single quotations. First, we have to import this config. For the set of imports, we need to use uh, require instead of uh, normal import require this config file then it is uh, assigned to a constant config so this can uh, we, we have these properties as defined in config file F. Uh, as i showed you i have added a property called app port also we can use it here config dot app port like this is a uh, rerun and check if it is running properly still it is uh, running properly uh, so far you have seen that uh, when I, I have done a new change I ha had to restart the server manually uh, we have another option uh, to avoid this uh, restarting in development mode now we'll add it uh, this uh, using node mark in my basic tutorial i uh, simply show uh, and tell about the node man uh, we have to install it first uh, in the install why nodman nodman uh, normally it's using a uh, global install one simply giving um, minus g we can install it globally it means we can use it any project to we have not only in this project uh, i have already installed nodman globally 
therefore I'm not going to install it again uh, we have to add a, a one configuration for using Nordman property here that is uh, adding Nordman JSON file file called Nordman JSON inside uh, that json file we have to add some simple property uh, we have to set some uh, simple properties no sir ignore which need to be ignored uh test files uh, git file node modules we have set it as ignore which 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 is uh, watching changes this src folder what command need to be executed in pm start again uh, and extension of files that is ts typescript files and another thing i have already done this in uh, my basic tutorial i have add a command to uh, run run using notepad that is dev so in development time we can just uh, run npm run dev instead of uh, npm start command then it will be started using notma successfully started we can see the difference we'll do some change just one change just uh, some like this and save after saving it will be restarting we can see npm run build node is and it is restarted with the new changes uh, that is the advantage of notman in development time uh, we can go ahead developing uh, developing uh, without restarting again and again it will be done by the nodeman to watch more videos subscribe our youtube channel like our facebook page Follow our LinkedIn page. Visit our website.